the first of today's two chase races is next to another rain is coming down now as well it's a two and a quarter mile time one this time and the top one is Alphine Hideaway for Craig Allen Le Duke for John Morgan Fires at Midnight and Lord Gale for Martin Leedham King Kong for Graham Clutterbuck The Great Grey for Ryan Costello Forceful Alex Cherry Silk Ellen for David Hooley Cape Solitude for Darren Thompson Light Return for Craig Allen and Jet Ski Lady for Graham Clutterbuck 11 of the men this time to face the starter and away they go with dark and gloomy skies overhead and it's Cape Solitude is just about the first to show from fires at midnight closest to us and now the grey Le Duke has come through to take it up as they get over the first and it's another one of these flashy front running greys from the John Morgan stable well, the looks of things is Le Duke has gone three or four lengths clear getting into the second of the 16 fences and they're all safely over that one jet ski lady a little bit slow at the back but they're already well strung out thanks to this leader Le Duke who's setting a strong pace as they get over fence number three and he leads by about six or seven lengths to Lord Gale on the inside in second forceful is third for Alex Cherry and then the second of the greys on the outside the great grey for Ryan Costello back from last season then comes light return after that one with fires at midnight and that one's inside then on the rail King Kong and Alphine hideaway with Cape Solitude just dropped back towards the rear is next and then the back to Silk Ellen and finally Jet Ski Lady but they're making their way towards the next end now with Le Duke in a clear lead of about six or seven lengths to Lord Gale second as they get over the fourth well, they're all safely over that one with Silk Ellen just relegated to the back spot at this stage then. So Le Duke is setting a pretty stiff pace. There's only a mile and a half left to go as they get over fence number five. And they're all over that one safely. Le Duke leading but only by about six now to the second of the greys, the great grey in second. Lord Gale on the inside is third as they take fence number six. With after that one, lot light return and then forceful. King Kong is going to try and get up the inside. Fires at midnight tucked in behind them as they get to fence number seven. The fence is coming up thick and fast at Foss Lass. And they race past the winning post now. Then with a complete circuit of this track to go only a mile and a quarter round. And it's Le Duke who's in the lead by about five or six lengths to Lord Gale on the inside of the Great Grey. Then light return moving up on the outside is fourth. King Kong is next and then comes forceful and fires at midnight. A little bit of a gap then back to the Graham Clutterbuck horse jet ski lady who's made a bit of a forward move then comes Cape Solitude now fine hideaway with Silk Ellen in the purple jacket just the back marker a couple of lengths away from its nearest rival but Le Duke has now come back to the pack and only leads by two with light return in second the great grey moving up though on that one's inside to reclaim the second spot Lord Gale still going well on the inside as they take fence number eight and a bit of a mistake at the back by Silk Ellen that one might be beginning to struggle now then they're well inside the final mile on that fence number nine and over that one the two greys are showing the way it's Le Duke in front from the great grey second then comes King Kong who's now moved through into third and then after that one light return as they get over that ditch and there's a fall of their fires at midnight has gone so the first one to depart the race has gone then at the 10th and they're racing down towards the 11th now then and it's the Le Duke who's still in the lead from the great grey in second King Kong on the inside is third and light return on that one's outside fourth now coming up the outside of the track Cape Solitude coming through with the runners they get over number 12 and now the Great Grey hits the front the Great Grey in the lead but the Duke has got the inside and the Duke has now regained that lead by about a, about a neck it's the Duke in front then from the Great Grey in second Cape Solitude now makes a forward move on the outside in third then comes King Kong after that one and then light return Lord Gales dropping back on the inside and Alphine Hideaway Jet Ski Lady trying to get into it I think Forceful and Silk and are probably both out of it then as they swing out all the final three furlongs and the final four fences and it's Cape Solitude who's hit the front Cape Solitude then, over to 13th in the lead, now goes two lengths clear of Le Duke in second, light return is third, Alphine Hideaway is fourth, they've got three more fences to take and two furlongs to race, this is their third last, Cape Solitude lands in the lead but got over it slowly, it's now being challenged by Le Duke again, and also on the outside here come the Craig Allen pair, Alphine Hideaway and light return as they get over the second last Lord Gale still there on the inside and now the Great Grey is switching to the outside, light return coming down towards the final fence in the lead from Alphine Hideaway, over the final fence they go, and it's light return and Alphine but look at the great grey on the outside the great grey is beginning to forge ahead as they race towards the line he's taken it on the line I think it's mighty close but I think the great grey is a returner from last season has got up to pip the Craig Allen pair on the post and the Great Grey takes it for Ryan Costello. Light return second for Craig Allen, who was also third with Alphine Hideaway. Le Duke for John Morgan was fourth, led for a long way, and King Kong for Graham Clutterbuck stuck on to be fifth.